The following is an excerpt of the Culture Creature Podcast. You can find links to the full episode in the description of this YouTube video. It's funny, like, you know, as I was doing my my Joyce Manor reading and research, there's like, Weezer comes up a lot. I know. I mean, I love Weezer. I'm a huge Weezer fan. Yeah. Yeah. And so do the Smiths. Yeah. And Morrissey. Big Smiths, Morrissey fan yeah. too. And like... It's so fun and also like complex to be a Morrissey fan. Yeah, it sucks. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> if do by you, complex you mean it sucks. Yeah. Do you find that you have to like separate the art from the artist, or does it make you think? I mean, about I find that? I find that more and more as time goes on. You know, I uh, being a Morrissey fan, I'm such to the level of being such a Morrissey fan that it is part of my identity. It's kind of like, and I'm like, I welcome that for a long time. And like, yeah, like a Morrissey super fan. The way like someone who's like a Trekkie, you know what I yeah. mean? It's like, is a Trekkie. Like yeah. I'm like a Morrissey nerd. And, you know, like, yeah, his recent political statements and his recent just kind of, yeah, it's it's a, it's, it's a shame, you know? And I think, I think it's also a shame just because it's like, it's tar- I think it's tarnished a little bit. Like there's there's so many great mm. songs, but it, it it's not like a new thing. Like it's been occurring no. in his career since early the first solo record. There was like nothing in the Smiths. I think he was ever labeled a racist, but he's been labeled a racist since like nineteen. But he was he was 90? causing controversy. Right there career. was like I mean Queen is Dead was controversial, mm-hmm. and or like and then on the first record there was like pedophilia yeah, stuff with suffer, uh, new story suffer Little about Children. Di- like Dead Children that he was yeah, writing about. Yeah, his song called Suffer Little Children. Yeah. That like, there was that. And then they said Hand the Rocks the Cradle is like a song about a pedophile or something. So maybe it's just part of his character that, and there's a way to embrace it. Like some of the shit he says is indefensible, but also sometimes i'm kind of like oh there goes marcy again you know what i mean just saying some bat shit like wild yeah. stuff yeah um i know i but no i think a lot of, like recently a lot of his stance on immigration and stuff i'm just like you are the worst and you're an idiot and just like <laughs> just stop like and you know part of me is like after maladjusted he didn't do anything for a long time and he came back and he looked super different like he looked kind of Italian when he came back. Yeah, he has like totally. a fake tan. He kind of like pulled that, a Mike Patton. Mike Patton did that too. He he went away for a while and he like then just looked like came back looking different. Yeah. Um. So I kind of think of that as like a different guy. Like, and there are some later later career tracks that I I really really like, but I kind of. But then it's troublesome because like yeah, even in the early solo shit, there's like you know, Bengali and platforms is like kind of sketchy but and then like national front disco and stuff like but i would always be like you know national front disco is a song about extreme far-right politics like you know what i mean it's about someone being swept away into racism like just because you sing about racism doesn't mean you're a racist of course but now he's like his stances on immigration make him a racist and so it's harder to defend those early things that allude to racism when later in life it's kind of like, oh, so now you're just like openly bigoted? The context changed. The context changed. And it's it's really deeply saddening to me as someone to where like being a fan of this guy and this band is such a part of my personality. And uh, it's just a shame. Yeah, it's, it's, it's saddening. But what are you going to do? Listen to the complete version of this interview on the Culture Creature podcast.